Yo, what's up? It's your boy. I woke up late today, guys. 11 a.m. Just trying to recover from boxing because I got fucked up. I still won. So, I went to knockdowns, but. Oh, oh, I feel it in my chest. I feel it in my stomach a bit. Uh, mostly in my solar plexus because that's a weak spot of the body, right? I'm I'm kind of weirded out how I'm still standing because it hit me hard there, but. Yeah, I would definitely say fucking hers. Yeah, maybe I'll put some ice on it and rub some ointment on it. And then I'll continue resting because that that's that's a smart idea. In this video today, I want to talk about one thing and one thing exclusively. You know, women losers are different to male losers. A woman loser, even like by woman standards is just so much different to like male standards because let's say okay let's constitute what like a male loser is maybe he's fat maybe he's like you know he plays video games you know maybe he just has any no sexual experience maybe he has all these things like he don't he doesn't have all these things bro a woman loser if she looks good which like all women care about their looks but she has that like the gaming and you know, she has the no sexual experience, and she's like, you know what I'm saying, she's antisocial, she's single, and she really has nothing like, really going for her, but she plays video games, she's kind of cute. Bro, that is, like, it's a woman doing that is not the same as a man doing that, even if he's cute. You know what I'm saying, like, Vinny Hacker, and Vinny Hacker's a very handsome young man, pause, but he, he, him playing video games and being a loser, right? But looking good is so different to a girl being a loser and looking good because a woman's primary agency is her looks. That's it. And even a woman loser by woman standards. Like a woman, a, a woman loser that's a, like, bro, a woman loser that's a man loser. Like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like yin and yang, bro, because let's say a woman loser, a woman is a loser by woman standards. Let's say that. So. She sleeps around, she's a bit of a three or four, she's a bit of a hoe, and you know, she's not, she's not, she's very promiscuous, let's say that. A man who's promiscuous, high body count, maybe he looks good, maybe he's tall, whatever, or maybe short, I mean, it doesn't matter really, but you know. He's a man, you know what I'm saying? Even though I myself, I don't think that's a good idea. I think having a relationship's better. I think having kids is better, but uh, that's just my opinion, bro. It, it's hard to compare the two because they're just completely and utterly different, you know. Men and women are completely and utterly different. It's weird. It, it's genuinely weird to think about. I feel like what I'm saying is slightly common knowledge, but like it's like something that you know, but you don't understand fully understand or fully know unless someone like talks about it. It's it's a it's a it's a, it's a, it's a weird predicament, guys. It's a very weird predicament, you know. So, I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. Yeah, we're not the same. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna lose the I'm gonna lose this. Catch you guys in the next video. Oh my god. Should I, no, should I talk about how? Prevent being a male loser by male standards and prevent being a woman loser by women's standards. I mean, the thing is, is yeah, if, you go, if you're a woman, you go on a lot of dates, that's fine, but it depends if the dates progress or not. And a woman, they fall in love with what they hear, they, they might progress. And when, when a guy hears that like, you've been on a lot of dates, like, he always assumes the worst. The guys always assume the worst. So any perspective that guy would be with, he would assume the worst. He'd be like, "What the hell? Oh, three or four? What the hell?" But this might not be the case. It honestly might not be the case. So, how can a woman prevent being a loser? I'll definitely say just wait for the perfect time and keep keep it to yourself. Keep your body to yourself. Keep your your emotional uh, availability to yourself. Keep your mental 
or mental, mental, mental spirituality to yourself. Keep everything to yourself until you find the right person. Yeah. For a man, bro, you gotta get some, you gotta get some experience. I think it's, it's, it's weird. It's, on the flip side, you have to get some experience. And it doesn't mean you have to be a three or four. You have, you have to be a promiscuous man, you know, sleeping around. You have one really good girlfriend. That you're, you're getting consistent experience with. There's no need to be sleeping around. I don't, th I don't believe in the idea that you need to be sleeping around. Although, it would benefit you. I'm honest with you. It would stroke your ego. It would be better for you, you know, for the long term. But, uh, but, bro, like, the, in the red pill space especially, there's like this idea that you need to be like a male, a male hoe and a, male, a man whore and you're going to be, oh, you can't be a man whore, you're a whore maker. And you gotta just go sleep around and fucking tons of bitches, and you're gonna be fucking tons of bitches. And I don't disagree with the notion, but you don't have to do it. Like, you, you can just be chill to yourself, get a girlfriend, get kids, and then you can just live your life that way. But then a lot of guys hear that, they're like, oh, that's shit. So it, it isn't a, as attractive as people think, but to me, it's attractive because I'm always gonna be thinking long term, like, I would rather have just a long term partner. I guess that's much in that sense. Because if you're a handsome guy, and you're able to spit game, sorry, you're not just literally just woke up. You're a handsome guy, you're able to spit game, and you're, you know, very charismatic. The reality is, is that you will get a lot of girls. Maybe you're a bit on the taller end. Like, I, when I go to the gym, like, I got my hair flicked up, I'm looking fucking good, I can see my, I've got my muscles, you know what I'm saying? I can feel the female attraction. I feel like people follow you around the gym. Literally. Like it's, I remember these two these two girls. I was boxing yesterday. Like, there was like four girls actually. Two white, two black. Some yin and yang type shit. Anyways, the, these, these white girls would be following me around. These black girls would be following me around. Like I, I would be in the cardio area. And then they would be like looking, talking, looking, talking, looking, talking at me. And then... I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like believe it. I, I, I would do the classic guy thing, you know, when when a guy like a thing hears about if a girl, <laughs> girl is interested in him, he's like, what? What the fuck is this guy talking about? Because it's so rare. But then, like I've told you, when the, when the times are shit, guys. So I feel like my male SM, S was it sexual market value? SMV is like is increasing. Ow, my fucking body is decreasing because I just got punched in the chest, man. Fuck. That solar plexus shot fucked me up. Uh, ow, 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 ow. Anyway, yeah, bro, I feel the attraction increasing. I feel the SMV increasing. SMV. That's what the cap cuts. <laughs> cap cut auto captions. I feel it increasing in real time, bro. And, bro, it is like. It is, it is just out of this world, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, oh my god. Like, girls just staring at you, bro. Like, staring at you. Uh, especially after I got my knockdowns. And then I was just walking around, not sure, like, just looking around a bit. Bro, these girls are staring at me. And I wanted to say silent. But, like, the inner, inner introvert of me didn't say anything. <laughs> and these girls are seemingly a bit older than me as well. That's, is that better? Isn't that better or is that worse? I don't, I'm not sh entirely sure. I don't think it's that important if it's, like, if it's like 18 and 21. Because these girls look like they're 21, 22, 23. They don't look that old. That's not that bad, though. Maybe I'm a victim, bro. <laughs> well, my laugh is making me hurt. Yeah, I, 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 guys, you work hard. You get into shape. You work, you focus on your looks, you focus on your skin, you focus on your hair. You, know, you find the right haircut for you. You know, I've been experimenting with a few hairstyles myself. I'll show you guys some um, hairstyles here. You know, you do that type of thing. It is very difficult to just truly like fail. Like, I, these black pillars with the defeatist mindset, like they already lost, bro. They already lost, and you know they haven't even started yet. It is so fucked. Like I remember, like my childhood friend, who's a girl, who's my neighbor, even worse, right? And she told me one day, she's a year younger than me. She told me one day, oh yeah, I went through my whole phase, by the way. Oh, that was like fucking gross out, bro. Like, I didn't keep it in, I didn't hold it in. Because I, I knew the position, I was friend zone, bro. 
So I was like, I'm not gonna get any, I'm not gonna get any play. So I'm just gonna be like, yeah, bye bye, block, bye. And then she didn't, she didn't talk to me anymore as well. I saw her like semi recently, and then she just aired me. She might be living in a school dorm, a school dorm now, because I, I never, I effectively never see her, like never ever. Um, I think she might be like avoiding me on purpose. Uh, I don't really care though. Like, it really not My life is short, guys. Life is so short. You know what I'm saying? Like, one girl. Come on, there's, there's three billion of them. Like, it's not just that there's plenty of fish in the sea. It's that you will not feel the fish in the sea if you're not fishing, bro. You will not feel the fish in the sea if you're not fishing. If you're not actively looking at girls, you're not actively looking out for girls, looking for girl interest. Bro, girls. Literally, I was, I was just doing dips, and there was a machine next to me, and like this girl, she was like fucking doing lap, lap pull downs. She stopped lap pull downs and she started doing like a machine next to me and started staring at me like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? I'm confident at any moment I could have just said hi. Got a number. The number, no, no, the, the game, the not, saying hi and getting the number part is very easy. That's stage one. At that point, then at that point, it's like it's dating and you know, are you guys compatible and. You know, is she hot? <laughs> oh god, I'm fucking. I mean, I'm in really the writhing pain. Yeah, men losers and women losers are different, bro. Like, it's so different. You know what I'm saying? And I'm looking at myself at this point. Like, I don't really. I'm about to build a computer, guys. I'm about to build a PC, and I, I, I say that a lot, but. And, you know, I've been building the past for a while now, but I think I might, I might try to make more money, I might try to save more money before I do anything rash with the computer thing. But yeah, I do want to build a computer just for like 500 pounds, maybe 400 pounds. Not, nothing too crazy. And I want to get like a nice monitor as well. You know, not, nothing too crazy as well, like 60, 60 hertz. Maybe I got a 144 hertz monitor, but I, I really don't, I really don't use it. I don't care. I really don't give a fuck. I might switch out, like, I'm, I'm using my 144Hz monitor as a secondary monitor. I might, I might, like, you run it if, like, I get my new computer and then, you know, it's able to run 140, you know, FPS, then I might do it. But in my opinion, I don't really see a point because at this point in my life, I'm not really playing video games, like, at all. Which is so, guys, if, if you've been watching my videos for a bit, that is such like a fucking difference, bro. Cause I used to be addicted. Like I made videos. I'm addicted to Apex. I'm addicted to Warframe, and I struggled with addiction to video games. And my friends would laugh at it. You know, my Jeffrey friends that 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 aren't on self improvement. That they, they haven't struggled. You know, that they're just fucking about. They're not really serious about life. Yet they find it as a joke. But to me, it's not a joke because when you have high ambitions as a young man, but you will want to like stop doing the instant gratification degenerate shit you would not enjoy it for a single second and you might use discipline for it as well like in the other video i said you can use discipline for bullshit you can use discipline for bullshit guys it's so weird and it's so dumb but you can like I, I, video games is a prime example you can use discipline to play video games you can hate every single moment but you can still play because it's fucking it, it isn't like that hard to force yourself Applied discipline is what matters the most. Like, that's, that's what a young man needs, you know what I'm saying, guys? Work on your fitness, work on your goals, work on achieving, work on your money, work on your lifestyle, work on your attraction, work on your sort of thing. Not even, like, this game, I, this idea of game, I think it's a bit silly, it's a bit childish. If you're charismatic and, and you're, you're, out, out, you're uh, like an extrovert or like outwardly going as a man, Maybe maybe some girls like introverts. Like you, you gotta be a bit of balance. Be the balance of both. Be the balance of both worlds. Is that is that how you say it? Or be the best of both worlds. You gotta be, be able to be the best of both worlds. And anyway, most guys aren't like like flat introvert, flat extrovert. I think most people, men and women, alike, are like a mix of both. Like there will be days where you feel like you don't want to talk to anyone, and there will be days where you're like you're in your social buzz. You want to talk to everyone, and you're so talkative, people are like, oh, you talk too much. I'm like, bitch, yes, I talk too much. I'm fucking feeling myself. Of course I, I do. Like, what the fuck? I don't care. I don't give a, I don't even give a bollocks, mate. So, yeah, it, guys, it, it, uh, uh, ow, my chest is in so much pain. Guys, it's, it's a spectrum, guys. It's a fucking spectrum. And you're going to be able to, like, 
slide across the spectrum to see how it benefits you, you know? To be honest, the only instant gratification thing I've been doing recently is watching TV shows. I watch Vigilante, the webtoon, um, you know, there was a webtoon called Vigilante and it's really fucking good. And I'm watching the TV show based off of it and it's pretty good as well, but it isn't like me measuring up to the, the, the webtoon, like to the standard that I would like it to. But yeah, it's whatever. I'm watching Rick and Morty. I'm watching... Um, I'm watching another show as well. I can't, I can't exactly pinpoint. Let me, let me, let me pause this and come back to this. And lastly, Invincible. You know, so that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. You know, what I'm saying, uh, yeah, that, 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 is, that is pretty much it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be around the bush there. I'm watching those three shows, and I don't really want to watch anything else. Everything else is just kind of bullshit to me. So one, one like live action, you know. Uh, thriller, thriller show, and two cartoons. I'm um, fuck it, bro. I've been watching Rick and Morty like, like I, I, I personally like really enjoy like ten out of ten enjoyment for Rick and Morty. Like I fucking every single episode, I want more, bro. I, I haven't watched the same episode twice because like I feel like it would ruin the experience. Cause I kind of know what's going on, but motherfucker, it's so good. I might just watch it twice. I remember, you know, on more Rick and where you know spoilers by the way. So just turn off the video here. It's just, it's just gonna be spoilers, and then I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm all reckon where Rick Prime is like is finally found. It's just wh what a fucking episode, and he's found, and like all his his day is killed, bro. That's just, just what a fucking episode, bro. That is just oh my god, wonderful. It, honestly, it's so wonderful. Like holy shit, dude. And also invincible. Like finally with his dad coming back, probably they're following the main continuity. So I kind of like know what's happening. But I don't know what's happening. Like I know the main storyline, but I don't know the nuanced parts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, pretty much it. Invincible. I know. What's, I don't know. And vigilante. I know. What's, I know what's gonna happen slightly, but they're they're really like going off track of the webtoon. Like it isn't like exactly on the webtoon. But I don't really give like a bollocks. I don't really give. I don't. I don't fuck, bro. I don't, I don't care. At the end of the day. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Just the only Instagram gratification things I'm doing. Other than that, it's just work, video editing, grinding, uploading, boxing, training. What the fuck was that? I just banged on my door or something. Remember my cat? That's pretty much my entire life. Uh, I'm just gonna stay bedridden. My fucking chest hurts. I might rub some ointment on it, like I said before. And yeah, I'm going to catch you guys in the next video because I have nothing left to say really. It's 17 minutes, 55 seconds in. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll have to put some gameplay and text, um, you know, text over it. But yeah, yeah, that that's that's pretty much it, guys. That, that, that's my life. Like, fuck it, bro. I'll catch you guys. Be safe. Be safe, guys. Catch you guys in a bit. See you around. Live mediocre, die mediocre. <laughs>